ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. I do not speak the English very well. No habla espanol. Muy bien. Bravo. You speak it much more better than I speak the English. And my mother was an American. I kind of thought you weren't Spanish clean through. How long since you've seen your grandfather? Since I was a small baby, when my mother and my father died, he sent me to his sister in Spain. He did not believe a sheep ranch was a good place for so small a baby as me. It'll seem strange to meet a grandfather you've never known. Yes. Please forgive me, but could you tell me where you go? I have a reason to ask. Why, sure. I'm going to meet a friend. He likes to see me from time to time, so to find out how I'm growing. Must be very nice to have such a friend. Pretty sight, isn't it, Tano? Hard to believe that this was once the scene of some mighty bloody warfare. Range war, Kimasami? Sheepmen against the cattlemen. The sheepmen wanted fences to keep their flocks in. Cattlemen wanted open range. Now land peaceful again. No, Tano. It only seems that way. All this is the Madrano Rancho. What's left of it? Him have trouble? Sheep thieves. Too bad for Senor Madrano. Maybe we do something to help. Yes, Tano, we can try. Dan won't arrive for several days. That will give us time to look things over. Let's go. Dan, I have a favor to beg of you. Would you make believe you're me for the next few days? You can stay at the rancho. We will say that you are Carlos Madrano, and I am Dan Reed. What for? I want my grandfather to like me as a person before he knows who I really am. Yes, I can understand that. Then when he likes me, I will tell him the truth, and you can go to meet your friend. It's an idea, but Carlos, he'd like you anyway. Please do it. All right, if you'll promise to help me out of the tight spots. This is a promise. Come, you take my suit. Careful with this, it was my father's. Perhaps I should not wear it. You'll have to. How could I explain Carlos wearing a watch like that? <laughs> this my grandfather would not understand. Bueno. Now I'm an American named Dan Reed. Won't be long now. We're in sheep country. Uh, should be coming to the relay station soon. I'll watch. She said 10 minutes more. <laughs> Carlos Madrano, come out of there. Come on, come on. No tengo dinero, que quiere? Huh? There's another one on the floor. Looks like he's done for. Forget about him. Let's get going. Stagecoach? Yes, and something's wrong with it. Let's go. Shot through the heart. Someone's inside, Tato. Give me a hand. Better get me some water. Him bad hurt? Shot right through the shoulder. You right, Kimozabe. This country have plenty trouble. you make of this? That Dan Reed's father's watch. But that not Dan. Whoever this is was riding in the coach with Dan. And I've got a hunch these are Dan's clothes. But nobody take watch and clothes from Dan without fight. I'm going to take this young fellow to our camp. You drive the coach on to the relay station. Just say you found it like this. Help me put him on Silver's back. Me do. Hi, Jack. Hi, Sheriff. Reckon you come to meet Madrana's grandson, eh? Must be big doings up the rancho. You'd never think the old man had any troubles. Happy as a bird. Why not? It's mighty nice to have somebody step into your shoes. Here he comes. Hey, it's an Indian up there. What happened to Baldy? Hey, Indian, what's going on? Where's the driver? Sheriff, here's Baldy, and he's got blood all over him. 
What happened? Me find coach like this, driver shot. Where's that? Where are the passengers? Where's Carlos Medrano? Me not know about passengers. The kid's supposed to be in there. It'll kill the old man if anything's happened to him. Well, don't borrow trouble. Maybe he's all right. I'll take a look at the spot where it happened. Say, uh... Hey, you! Come back here! Well, this is a nice mix-up. Take it easy, young fellow. You're going to be all right. Como? What happened? Suppose you tell me. What happened to Dan Reed? My friend Dan. Where is he? Where am I? We found you down the road in a stagecoach. Dan wasn't there. Get the coach in, all right? Ah, them look now for Carlos Madrano. Carlos? Are you Carlos Madrano? See, si. I go home. My grandfather waits for me. Tano Dan was with him. For some reason, they changed clothes. And I think someone mistook Dan for him. What we do now, Kimisabe? We've got to find Dan. Ain't enough I do all the dirty work around here. I gotta cook, too. You can quit any time you don't like it. You sure took your time getting here. What happened in that holdup? Where's the kid? He don't look hurt to me. Why should he? There was blood in the back of that stagecoach. Sure, the boys say somebody else got in the way of a bullet. What'd you do with him? Nothing. Left him in there with a the driver. Why? What's wrong? An Indian brought in the coach. The driver was there all right, but that other passenger wasn't. Sheriff's posse's out looking for Carlos right now. You didn't leave anything they could trail us by. You think I'm dumb? Here's a note for the old man. I still don't see how he's gonna raise 25,000. Don't worry. When he reads this, he'll sell anything to get the kid. But I offered him only 15,000 for his sheep. Half his ranch would be worth another 10,000, wouldn't it? We'll take that. Very good business. First, we steal the old man's sheep. Then we sell them to buy the rest of his outfit. I don't know how we're going to let the kid go. He knows our faces. Who said anything about letting him go? Hello. Look. That smoke signal me teach Dan. And that's where he is. Let's go. What? What's going on? What'd you do that for? I caught him working the damper. He was sending up smoke signals. Was he at it for long? I don't know. I just saw it, but they were going plenty high. Well, you go get Van and cover the pass. If anybody saw that smoke, we want to be ready for trouble. Who did you expect would see those signals? Come on, talk. I said talk. Senor, no hablo inglés. He was just taking a chance. He don't know anybody around. He was only a baby when he ran away. I don't like it. This is the kind of thing that spoils good plans. You going back to the ranch? Yeah, as soon as I know it's clear outside. You keep him tied up. Don't let anything happen to him because we may need him. Hello. He stopped signaling. But smoke still rise. We'd better look into it. You hear that? Horse is all right. They're coming this way, sure enough. Sounds like two of them. They're bound to have somebody watching the road. We'll leave our horses here and go around on foot. They must have stopped. Oh, maybe they're going somewhere else. A lot of people going places on horseback. Sure. Only it happens you and me held up the stage and they may be looking for us. You better get down the road and find out what's going on. That's where the smoke came from. If smoke signals come from that chimney, that means Dan Reed inside cabin. Tano, look, it was an ambush. Two of them. Yes, and there might be more inside. We can't attack Cabin when Dan Reed in there. Tano, as long as they didn't shoot Dan at the stagecoach, they won't hurt him unless we force their hand. We see him, Kimusabe, in that relay station, ask for Carlos Medrano. I think I'd better follow him and see what he's up to. I don't want to rush down there and get Dan in trouble. 
You stay here and keep your eye on that cabin. Is that all? But do you not expect him to eat? This is a young man. Young men are strong, healthy, always hungry. Uh, bring more fruit. I didn't get any more. No more? Uh, then offer it first to me. I will refuse it, and then he can eat as much as he wants. Uh, oh, how about the roast? Uh, go to the kitchen, look at the roast. And it's about time to put on Don the sauce, Don Medrano. I am the housekeeper, and I am also the cook. And I know when to put on the sauce. I have been in your house for 26 years. But if once more you tell me to go and look at the roast and put on the sauce... <laughs> Uh, we are a little excited. Uh, um, where is he? Carlos, Carlos. He's not here, sir. Not here? What do you mean? You didn't meet him? He wasn't on the stage? He was on it, all right. I'm afraid I have bad news for you, sir. The stagecoach was held up, and your grandson was taken away. I just now found this ransom note stuck in the main gate as I rode in. $25,000. They have taken away my grandson. And they wish me to give them $25,000. I wouldn't give them a cent. I would give them my life. This, this is my grandson. Maria. Stop. I have been ordered to tell this to no one. You will have to obey the order, too. I'd fight back, sir. Why, you'd have to sell out to raise that kind of money. Then I will sell out. To Frank Lucas, I suppose. That's what he's been asking you to do. If Mr. Lucas will give me $25,000, then I will sell out to him. I know how you feel. I do the same in your place. You want me to ride over to Lucas? They're not giving you much time. Uh, please go there now. Tell Mr. Lucas I will consider any offer that will bring me $25,000. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about this, sir. I know you are. Don Jose. What? Well, I, I have sent for the money. It will soon be here. I didn't come for that. I want to help you. Wearing a mask? Who comes to help wearing a mask? I haven't time to explain now. But your grandson, Carlos, is alive and safe. Where, where is he? You can't go to him now. You must do something for someone who was taken in his place. I do not understand. The crooks made a mistake. They mistook another boy for your grandson. You must help me rescue that other boy. But what can I do? I have a plan. When Lucas returns with your foreman, say nothing about me or that you know Carlos is alive. All right, get in there. Take him in. Where do you come from? Far away, far. What are you doing here? Me find work, maybe. Like driving a stagecoach, I suppose. Uh, that could work. You give me? That's for lying. Now turn around. Look at him. You know him? Him, bad man. You tie him up, take him to sheriff. He's just a dumb Indian. He don't even know the time of day. Let's get over to Madrano place. I don't know. Then keep him here. We'll work on him later. I can make even an Indian talk. Let's go. All right, tie him up. If he gives you any trouble, put a bullet in him. Sit down, Indian. Tell you honestly, I know your sheep are worth more, but I'd have to carry them through the window. That means buying feed. I just can't pay you more than 15,000. Suppose I added in a part of my ranch. No, you can't do that. Just what part of your ranch do you have in mind? Uh, the section you've always wanted, the, uh, the half next to your property. The price asked for my grandson's life is $25,000. Mr. Lucas, this is the sum I must have. Madrano, you're being a good neighbor. 
Help me when I've needed it. I always said I'd pay you back. All right. $25,000. Uh, uh, here are the deeds of transfer. If, if you will sign here. And, and here. Are you unhappy, Jack? Well, I guess I'll have to start looking for another job. There won't be much around here for me to take care of. You may stay here as long as you wish. I had intended to divide the property and the sheep between you and Carlos, appointing you the executor, because Carlos knows nothing about ranching. You mean you would have given me half of this whole layout? Yes, but unfortunately, between the sheep thieves and the outlaws that captured my grandson, there is nothing left. This small amount of land uh, must go to Carlos. Yes, I see. Yes, senor. That's too bad, Jack, but I guess it's too late to stop it. Those crooks sound dangerous. You don't mind signing as witness. There's the 25,000, senor. I'm sorry we had to do business under such unhappy circumstances. I hope for the safe return of your grandson. Uh, thank you. I still have things to do. You know where to find me? Uh, Jack. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, here is the money. Uh, will you take it to the place appointed? All right. Oh, uh, Senior Madrano. Uh, yes? I lost a lot by this, didn't I? Yes, but knowing you, Jack, I know that your first thought was the safety of my grandson. Sure. Sure, I'm a great hombre. I just haven't got any brains. Reach high, mister. I'm interested in that $25,000 you have. So you know what I got? Well, that tells me plenty. Sure. Never trust a crook. I'll take that money. Does he think he can get away with this? Well, that no good sneaking double crosser better be ready because I'm going after him. Get on your horse. What do you think you're trying to pull? What are you talking about? I'm talking about a double-crossing pull cat named Lucas. Frank Lucas, who hired a man to put on a mask and grab the 25000 That's his play to swindle us out of the money. And he'll think up another play to do us out of our split on the ranch. Why, you low-down liar, what are you trying to pull? He wants us to believe this. Wants us to believe he was held up for the 25000 <laughs> What's the matter with you? You could. You know my knee. Go. Why you? a fiesta for my grandson. Dan will have to enjoy it for us. About that $25,000, Don Jose. 
These men got it from the sailor's sheep they stole from your rancho. It's rightfully yours. I'd like to see you prove that. Here's one witness. See, si, senor, it seems I hable English very well. well. Maybe I got the last laugh, because I carry a little bill of sale that gives me a nice chunk of this ranch in its stock. Now, let's see you laugh that off. You haven't anything ahead of you but a long stretch in jail. Did you look at that bill of sale? I did, and I signed it, and he signed it, and he was my witness. Mm-hmm. Look at it again. Looks pretty sweet to me. Nice and legal. And signed, Carlos Medrano. Carlos? That's the boy's name. Your name's Jose. Of course. Our friend in the mask suggested a little game. First, I told Jack that I was going to bequeath him half the rancho. We knew that might confuse you both. And then, while I kept on saying, Carlos, 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 I signed Carlos. And you never noticed. What? The man in the mask, the Indian. They're going, they're going away. They don't stay long in one place. Oh, I would like to have thanked him. Uh, who is he? That man in the mask. Uh, who is your friend? I thought you knew. He's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. I will kill the man! 